How's it going Eliminators? Today we're going to be changing a transmission belt on a Craftsman YT3500. So let's get right into it. So I got a YT3500 here. It has a 22 horsepower V-twin engine on it. And this is the one that has the variable drive speed system. And my customer blew the rear belt on it. So it just completely smoked itself. And the model number for this specific mower is a 944.603605. Now this particular Craftsman has a transmission that's made by General Transmission on it. And it takes a certain belt. Now the issue that my customer has was that slowly over time he would get on the throttle and it just wouldn't go as fast as it would before and this is the belt here now this belt right here just completely tore itself apart however this belt right here isn't the oem belt that's supposed to be on it so what somebody did was they just took like a 3 8 cogged belt and they put it in there and my customer actually bought this at an auction place nearby that's local it's a specialty belt and I'm assuming they smoked it. They didn't want to pay the money to replace that because it is an expensive belt. So they just went ahead and grabbed any belt that would fit that was tight enough. They put it in there and then it was enough just to drive it forward and back on the auction block so that somebody could go ahead and you know buy it and think that they were getting a good deal on a quality used mower here. So what I've done here, flipped up the seat and I've disconnected the battery. I've also disconnected the seat switch. It's pretty straightforward here. You just unplug the connector there and then go ahead and pinch two tabs. Once you take your battery out, you can go ahead and pop out your battery box. Now right here is your variable speed pulley and you guys can see that I've soaked it with some penetrating oil. I'm gonna to get to that in a second. Here is the other pulley up at the front. So this is your main drive belt that goes from your engine all the way back to your transmission here. And then there's a secondary belt. This is the one that I'm replacing here. But to replace this, you need to get the belt up under this pulley here. So I've taken a T25 Torx and I have an extended one and I just put that onto my impact gun. There's gonna be four screws that you're gonna to have to remove and you guys are gonna see where those four screws go. Once you get those loose, you can go ahead and simply lift up on your variable drive pulley here. You don't actually have to remove the nut on the top of that pulley. So once you go ahead and get that whole assembly loose, you can go and slip your new belt underneath and get it snug up against that pulley. And then you could route it back towards that pulley over there. And then you can go ahead and replace your four screws. It's actually a fairly good design. The only thing was I had a little hard time finding the belt. The number for that rear belt is a GT 37401 for this particular model and I'll show you guys how to check your belt number for your model. So if you come to the back of your machine here up underneath the transmission you're going to notice that there's going to be some kind of sticker with a serial number model number of your transmission and then basically I went into Google and I ran that transmission number and then I just put belt after that and it brought up the GT 37401 belt. Now I have some other information that I just wrote down here. The long drive belt for this particular model machine is a 197 253. The short drive belt, like I said at the back, that is the GT 37401. However, you can run an AYP 587086101 or an Arians 2154925. And additionally, the deck belt for this riding mower is a 429636. Okay, so I got my new belt. That is, I believe, an AYP number. I ended up getting it from Ben Berg's farm equipment. I couldn't get this belt, and you guys can see that. It is much, much thicker than that little measly 3 8 cogged belt. And I also got a couple of the deck belt keepers for the deck belt because they are broken on this one. If you guys come down here and have a look, they've snapped off. So my customer must have hit something, but he gave me the okay to go ahead and order two new ones. So I got the old belt that was on it with the new belt here. You guys can see it's quite the difference here. Just check out how beefy that belt is. So that's going to offer my customer a lot more usability out of this machine because he did say that it used to slip a lot before and he never knew why. And that's why somebody just tried to cheap out and use whatever belt they had laying around to get this to work. So once you do get the belt wrapped around there, it's just going to look a little something like that. Then I can go ahead, line up this bracket, and get my four screws back in. So even though this is an expensive belt, the way that you replace it is actually quite simple. So what I've done here is I've just put one screw in to start. And then what I'm going to do is come down here and just press on 
the pulley here and then you can go ahead and get the other two holes lined up on the right side. Go and get at least one or two screws there and then you can go ahead and get your fourth one in after that and this belt replacement is almost complete. Now I'm just going to go ahead and tighten up these bolts with my impact. Now you don't have to worry about stripping the threads because even though this transmission looks like it's made out of plastic the case is actually made out of fiberglass so it's a little stronger than your average plastic. And the way this transmission works is when you press down on your throttle pedal, this whole pulley system here actually rotates and it puts tension on your transmission belt, the one that we replaced there, which then engages that other pulley over there, which in turn engages the transmission. So this belt right up here is always under tension and this pulley is always spinning. So I'm going to go ahead and get my battery tray and my battery back in, hook that up, hook up the seat switch and then I'll go ahead and take this thing for a drive just to test out, make sure that it works. Okay, let's fire this thing up and see how it drives. That's it for today's video. We were able to replace the transmission belt on that Craftsman YT3500. And once I delivered the machine back to my customer, he even mentioned how much of a difference it was just driving around, getting onto the gas pedal and that it just took right off right away. And that's because it now has the proper belt on it. So it's gonna grab much better than that measly little 3 8 cog belt that the previous owner installed. If you guys enjoyed the video, think about leaving me a thumbs up. You know, it really helps me out. You can click here to subscribe and click over here to watch one of my previous videos. I upload every single week. So be sure to stop on by next week, check the channel out for new content, and as always guys, thanks for watching.